Continuing our coverage tonight, reaction to the settlement. Neil Fisher shares what fans are thinking tonight. Tonight, winning is top of mind for Browns fans. Go Browns! Reaction to the final ruling on Deshaun Watson. He can't come back soon enough. I want to see him back out there as soon as possible. Obviously, I mean, as Browns fans, we want to win. The topic wasn't one many people in downtown Cleveland wanted to comment on today. I really would rather not comment. Thank you. No comment. No, thanks. I don't have. I don't right. know enough about it. I have no idea. No. All right, Vern, if you wanted to comment. No. I spoke to one out-of-town visitor who's indifferent on being a fan of the team, but still says the punishment was too harsh, but needed. You can't treat women, you know, like you want to treat them and, and think there's no repercussions behind it. One fan didn't want Watson and the baggage that was coming from Houston. Yeah, I, I don't think they should have <laughs> told the truth. <laughs> but You don't think they should have? No, no, I don't. Yeah, from, no, from I don't. Houston? No, the Browns I wasn't for it in the beginning, no. Sometimes you live and learn, so after this, I don't think he'll be getting in any more trouble after this. As for Watson, he'll be back, just not too soon. The sooner we can get him on the field, you know, obviously the better it is uh, for everybody, for the fans, for the organization, for the team. The Cleveland Rape Crisis Center issued a statement to me late this afternoon. They said in part, while traditional avenues of criminal justice may have failed his accusers, today's NFL and NFLPA settlement of increased punishment is a step towards validating their experiences. Healing comes to survivors in many forms. Meanwhile, Russ and Laura, the fans I spoke with today, can't wait to see Watson out on the field here at First Energy Stadium. All right, Neil Fisher live for us in downtown Cleveland. Neil, thanks.